Hello, I'm Charles, and today I'm going to be replacing the carry thwart in my canoe with a seat. This is a Old Town camper. It's a normally a two-seater, but when I take my kids, one of them ends up sitting in the bottom. So I think it'd be better if they have a seat. So what I've got is a brand new cane seat. What I'm going to do is take this out, match drill the holes, drill two more holes, screw it in place, should be good to go. I won't have the comfortable fort to carry it with, but I should still be able to place that on my shoulders. I don't really portage this, portage this canoe that much, so it won't make that much of a difference. Hopefully. It'll be more comfortable for the third person. Get started tools and materials of course the seat that comes wide enough no holes no cuts so I've got a drill motor and some drill bits to make the holes I've got a saw to cut it if we need to and some sandpaper to smooth some things up uh, 3 8 wrench for the number 10 nuts and a Phillips screwdriver for the screw I've got the screws are number 10 1024 uh, two and a half long. That's the length I need to go down through everything. My 1024 nylon lock nuts and some number 10 finish washers. And then I also have an assortment of different flat washers. Some number 10s, uh, some, I think some quarter eights, some three eights. I couldn't find any uh, fender washers in stainless steel. And all of it stainless steel because it is going to become in contact with water. And a piece of sacrificial wood so that when we're drilling through, it doesn't splinter out the bottom. First, we'll take out the fort, which is the nut on the bottom and the screw going through. Same over here. Check the length of the thwart with the length of the new seat, and it's actually about a half an inch shorter. So, we won't have to cut this any, and I did a test fit. Basically, if you put it in here and pry it on the gunnel just a little bit, where that's going to fit, there's play on both sides. So we should be able to match all our holes. Right, I've got this thick piece I'm going to tape right there just temporarily to space out on my seat and then there.
Okay, I was a little concerned because the, the holes in the thwarts seem to be at an angle. So I wanted to make sure I got everything centered. And since this one's not quite as long as the thwart, what I've done is put me in some little 1 8 shims on both sides and clamp this in place so that it's directly underneath this hole. And now I'm going to match drill the hole. I'm going to do that on both sides and then make a new hole at the back and then we'll be ready to bolt it in. Alright, since this is going to be a new hole, what I'm going to do is guesstimate where it needs to be. Based off the size of the washer I'm going to be using. Center it up on there. And drill a new hole. And just like on the other side, use my piece of sacrificial wood underneath. That will be ready for a new screw. We'll do that on the other side and we'll be finished. All right, just like that, turned up being a bit easier than I thought it was going to be. I was able to use the two screws from the thwart, so I really only needed two screws with all the washers and nuts for it. Um, I was going to match reel the thwart, but if, as you saw, with it being a little bit different length, I went a little, a little bit better route. Fits perfect, didn't have to saw anything. Drilled two new holes in my gunnels. So, all in all, I'm happy with it. Got to get it out on the water, see how the kids like it. As usual, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good one.